The cartel keeps its high-value prisoners at a camp up in the mountains called La Carcel del Pueblo. Liberate the prisoners and find out what they know about the disappearances. I'll drive. Oh, cool, let's move. I got it. I'll fly. I'm on. Let's go. Just hang tight, I'm heading your way. Denny's down. Those cell doors must be unlocked. Let's talk to one of these prisoners. See what we can find out about the disappearances. Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is... people so there. Stewmaker? But what does he do with the bodies? Where are they? He takes the corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lie. Caustic soda. Si. Sosa caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the oil drums, well... There are no bodies left to find. So now we've got a name, we need more info on El Pozolero. A way to go after him. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows.
más que a nada en la vida. Haz la tuya. Haz la única. Porque estaciones de oro. Plantas a la medida. Cañones personalizados. Cualquier relieve a tu gusto. Miras la serie de última generación chapeados de oro. Venga sea, pimpeame la fusca. ¿Qué esperan, carnales? Dice mejor quién es que tu fusca. Cáele ya, pilvea de la fusca y deja a tu compañera como siempre la has soñado. Me gusta con las condiciones para nuevos clientes. Coming up on the journalist's last known location. Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. You need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Handle, hermanos. Buckle up, people. Fire, fire, fire. There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get back to it. Me llamo Lupe Vera, but I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pakatari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. I'm DJ Perico, and I wanna let you know that you can make some cold, hard cash if you turn this person in to your local Santa Blanca affiliate. If you don't turn this person in, when he or she is captured, your silence might be interpreted as assistance, and aiding in a rebellion carries a harsh penalty for you. It's not just San Mateo, you know. People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Los desaparecidos? That includes every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel. Every student. Bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The rebels, the hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. It's not hard to guess that Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route, its schedule? Nothing specific. Oye, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. Buen día, compatriotas. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios, and gracias. I'm going to wait here for Pacatari. You should find that truck. Hola. Nomad, I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We've got a description of the truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in the back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. According to our intel, there's a cartel death truck that collects corpses across San Mateo and delivers them to someone called El Posolero. Intercept the truck and force the driver to give up El Posolero's location.
He's already got a loaded pack full of goddamn bodies. Fucker knows somebody's gunning for him now. seen anything like this since I was in a sandbox. Sandbags, barbed wire, walking hell. Bet these cartel assholes never thought they'd be spending their time dodging snipers and IEDs. Karma sure can be a bitch sometimes. Okay, yes, I'm bro. Stop at the door, stick with Move out, I'm on your six. You El Pozolero? For serious? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I just drive the truck, wait, nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name is Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. But you know, we should never found out. Bowman, this is no man. The driver gave us El Pozolero's real name, Raul Murillo. He also gave El Pozolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. Just got a file transfer from Bowman. Looks like she was able to dig up some background on El Pozolero. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozolero, the monster who melted them.
I don't like this. We got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting like tense, you know? I'm kind of like a little nervous. Like Bowman said, there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozzolero before he sees us. got to be some intel. boots. 